The incident we have here is Fiverr Mass Messenger here. So today I'm going to explain to you how this program works as quick as possible. So this is an excellent tool you could use to promote your offers to Fiverr users. It's an excellent tool you could use for your Fiverr Mass recruitment. Always an excellent tool for you to use and promote anything at all you have. So now, if, before you start using this tool, you have to first of all know um, who are your target audience? Once you have known that, and, and once you know the keyword, all you need to do is to go to Fiverr and type in your keyword. For this example, my keyword is SEO. And then once that is done, you copy this URL, right? You copy the URL, and then you come to this program, and then you paste it here. And as you can see, I've, I've already done that. Then the next thing you do is you click on you click on start okay so you click on search so once you click on search it's going to um, bring down all the list of people who are in SEO as you can see his name is SEO backlinks or whatever so basically once you click on search it's going to start uh, making those search but as you can see I have already um, made my search and I'm just trying to explain the program for you so you click on search and then once you're happy with the amount of um, users you have been able to extract you click on stop then the next thing you do is you go to the sender option no you don't go to the sender option you go to to sender which means once you click on to sender which means that you're going to forward all these users to this section okay okay you understand what i'm saying i said once you're happy with the amount of users you have been able to extract based on the keyword you're looking for now the next thing you do you want to send message to them of course so what you do is you forward these users to the sender by simply hitting this button here to sender once you click on that those users will show on this section and for the previous examples i had 90 um i had 90 users i'm targeting then the next thing you do is you kind of you add your message okay what are the message you're trying to add them now our system is built in a such a way that it could take piles of hours our system works by a uh, spin tax based on sentences so you can have four different version of sentences or five different version or any amount you want and simply add them here maybe um let me just like hello how are you let me just add something real quick so so let me copy that okay so i can add that one so that could be my first sentence that could be my second sentence that could be this could be my third sentence okay but it could be really really long it could be you could write a proper paragraph um a proper paragraph stuff like that so you could have it as that okay so what it's going to do our syntax syntax system is built in a such a way that when the message is going to be sent it's going to first of all take the first message and send to the user then it's going to take the second message sent to the user then the third message the next user the fourth message and so on and then once it release once it's at the last then it's going to start again and loop so that is how spin tax is built then when you have once you have with the message you want to add accounts okay now the now this account section is quite really 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 exciting because it has some awesome features that no one has so let's go to account management then then you want to import accounts okay so it depends so if you depends on how many accounts you have if you have one account if you have two accounts depends on the amount of accounts you have so for this example um i'm going to assume that I have, um, let's say, let's, I mean, let's assume that I have five Fiverr accounts, okay? So let's assume we have what five Fiverr account. So what is gonna so? So let's assume we have five um, Fiverr account. So what's going to happen? So once I click on, um, so once I click on send, okay? Once I click on send, what's gonna happen is. It's going to, the system is going to send the first message to this user with this account. The next account is, is going to use the second account to send message to this user. 
it is going to use the third account to send the message to the next user, the fourth account to the next user, and then it's going to loop again. So the, can you see the beauty of the system? It is built in a such a way that you can obtain the maximum benefit from the system because if you have three to four accounts, it's going to use the first account, okay? Okay, it's going to use the first account and then it's going to use the first message and send it to this user. Then it's going to um, then it's going to use a second account and take the second message and send to the user and then so on. But again, we're gonna we have an option whereby you can specify your time interval. So if you go to the time interval, you specify how many seconds of delay you need. So how many seconds of delay it's gonna use. So so if you put 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 50 seconds, amount of seconds you put, it, um, that's the amount of that's the amount of delay is going to be used to send each message to the next user. So let me explain this again so you don't get get confused. Now, when you are happy with all your configurations, and then what you need to do is you need to click on send. But now this this is supposed to be a send button, but because I'm already running um my uh, because I'm already sending a message, and that's why you can see it's is at stop. So if I click on stop, it's going to it's going to show send. But as again, I'm explaining this program when I'm already using it, okay? Because I need you to see it working, okay? So you can see that I'm already um, sending some messages. I've been able to send 22 messages. Can you believe that I've been able to send 22 messages non-stop? And you can see the success, and and you can see the failed messages is only one. That means the person probably reason is because the person is no longer on Fiverr, and then you can easily see the person's account by double clicking. When once you double click on that, um, you should be able to see the person's account. Okay, so I uh, double click on that, you you can see the person's account. He's um, he's from Bangladesh. I know different blah blah blah. So that's basically him. So. Um, if you if I double click on this guy, um, you could see um, his account too, right? Can you see it's awesome, yeah? Okay. And then the beauty of this program is it has you can also use proxy. Okay, you can use a proxy. You can import a proxy, which means um, if I import a proxy. It was basically going to use the proxy to send messages. Or if you have any of our tool, like like um, if you don't use a proxy, you can use um, you can use um, this type of tool. Like you can use this type of tool, which are which basically allows you to you know to hide your IP so you can see that change if you if you select um, change my IP every 15 minutes okay so you can easily select that change my IP every 15 minutes and then you click on um, if I click on hide my IP it's going to take me to Brazil or I can choose um, whatever country I want to use okay okay I can select any country I want to use, okay? And then <laughs> you can see basically it's telling me that I'm right here. So basically you can select any country you want to use, okay? And then you can hit change IP every 15 minutes. And that the, what that means is that the whole system is set to use this IP address, which means that once you're using this program, which once means it, once it's using this program, um, is going to be using this IP to be sending um, the messages, which means you don't need to import a proxy. So you can, it's you, it's up to your choice. You can, you have actually, you have three choices. One, you can decide to use your own IP, your own IP, okay, or you can decide to use a proxy, which means you have to import a proxy. Or thirdly, if you have this program called Platinum Hide IP, 
which is free I can give it to you for free is it's going to set your system to use a different IP okay can you see the beauty of this system it's going to set your system to use a different IP and you can set it to change your IP every 15 minutes that means that once you're using this beautiful program okay once you're using this beautiful program this program will be forced to listen to this chap here and use this IP to to perform tasks here so I hope you understood this program and I know it was there was a lot of details about this um, I should still be and uh, you should still get um, a documentation on, on how to safely use this program and I really hope that this will work out for you thank you